quick start guide for Game Touch Controller, as the existing guide makes things seem a bit more complicated than they really are. So the first thing you're going to do is download the client application from the respective storefront. It's available on Google Play, the, Am uh, the Apple App Store, the Amazon App Store, and there is a Windows client available, but you're going to need one of these on um, one of those respective devices anyway. So go ahead and do that first. The next thing you want to do is get the server to go onto our PC that we game on from gametouchcontroller.com. Go up to the top, go to the downloads page, scroll down to release builds and download the server installer. If you want to use a Microsoft service, uh, Surface, etc., for your client, if we scroll down, we'll see there's the client installers for Windows down here. They are free, but like I said, you will still need a um, Amazon um, iOS or Google Play version on one of your devices to authenticate it. So once we've downloaded the server installer, it'll redirect us. We can go into our downloads and run the installer. Pick a language and then go through all the typical setups that you would for any other install. If for some reason you have a problem with the installer running, back on the downloads page, there is a self-extracting zip version of both the server installer and the client installers. And the default path that you need to put in to extract to is sitting here right next to the uh, yellow description. Anyway, once we've installed the Game Touch Controller server, hit finish and launch the server to go through the rest of the setup process. Now that we have the server installed, the next thing we want to do is add our VJoy device. We simply do that by clicking the Add Remove VJoy button on the server main screen here. It will automatically set it to VJoy Device 4 on install. If you already have VJoy devices set up on 1, 2, and 3, it won't touch those or remove them. And we go through the VJoy install like any other setup. You may get prompted with a window um, to, ex to accept after the VJoy install finishes, and it will go through and set that to VJoy device 4. Now that we have our VJoy installed on device 4, we have the server installed on our gaming PC, and we have our client installed on our tablet or phone, the next thing we want to do is connect the two together. To do that, we just simply hit the big power button on our server, and it's going to prompt us to add a firewall rule for the Game Touch server so that it can communicate with your tablet or phone. If we hit show more when this prompt comes up, it'll ask us whether we want to apply it to public networks or private. Uh, pick whichever network you are on. If you don't know, you can just hit both and hit allow. Now that our server is turned on and the firewall rule is in place, we should be able to simply hit the power button on our client. If it's on the same network, it will find the server and connect. And we'll see clients pop up in the little box on the server. If you're using a Windows client, like the one you see in the picture here, the first thing you'll have to do is connect your phone in the same way. Once it's connected and you see it appear in the clients under hosts, then connect your Windows client. It will authenticate with your phone and that will last a week and they'll be connected. Now that we're connected, we can just do a quick test to make sure that the client is communicating with the server. And the simple way to do that is on the server, bring up something like Notepad or Text Editor and make sure the cursor is inside it. And then on our tablet, we can just use the button down the bottom right to go to the screen where we can select between Star Citizen and Gamepad away from keyboard in general. And then just hit Star Citizen. This may take a minute or two to load depending on your device. And once we get to the screen, if we go to something like the FPS panel and hit Torch, it will type in T into the notepad and we know that the client is communicating with the server. Uh, and that's essentially the setup complete and we know it's working. If you load up the game and the commands aren't getting through to the game, the simple fix for that is just to close the server down and restart it as administrator and reconnect. All of the buttons on all of the panels are set up by default to the existing Star Citizen bindings. I update those as CIG does. You can check them by hitting the configure in the top right and it will show you what they're currently bound to. And that is the same for all of the panels. 
Well guys, that completes the quick setup guide for Game Touch Controller. There are more detailed guides in there about how to set up the buttons to exactly how you want them, colors and um, overlays, etc. But if you run into any problems, please jump in the Discord. The link is on the front page of the website uh, and I'll do my best to help you out. Right, have fun with it, guys. Peace.